Coming up after the break, a look at a new study that shows how a COVID protocol could be impacting children's eyesight. More lingering consequences of the pandemic are just now being realized. Among them, the effects of being stuck inside on children's vision. A study found the rate of nearsightedness increasing in young children, many who learned online exclusively. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with an Austin optometrist about what parents can do to help their children. What is myopia? Myopia is a condition where the eyeballs have grown too long and it results in blurry vision when you're looking at a far distance. And it sounds like you're starting to see a lot more of that in kids. Unfortunately, yes. So um, years ago, this might be a condition that would develop later on, maybe like in college with extended reading, but now we're seeing children coming in earlier and earlier. And we think that, you know, we know genetics, plays a big role. So we know that children who have parents with myopia are at a much higher risk of developing myopia. But now with increased um, digital devices and the lack of time outdoors, um, we're seeing it happen a lot more frequently. What ages are we talking about in terms of when you're starting to see it and, and what should parents be looking out for? Sure, so um, we're seeing children as young as three or four coming in now. Um, parents can be looking for if the child is squinting, um, if they can't see the board at school, um, they might be complaining of headaches or um, holding books closer to their face, holding their phone closer, or maybe getting closer to the television. If you're seeing this as a parent, what should you do and, and sort of what's the long-term prognosis for that? So if the child is diagnosed with myopia, just getting the glasses or contact lenses are going to help them see clearly, but it's not going to do anything to stop the progression or prevent the eyeball from getting longer. And so you want to be able to have those specialized treatments to actually stop that process, which in turn can prevent sight-threatening disorders later on. All right, Dr. Denise Smith, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you.